It's time to turn your life-challenging moments into life-changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Welcome to the Powerful Journey podcast, where we are interviewing women who have turned their life challenges into life-changing messages, messages of hope, inspiration, and encouragement. And I am super excited to have Shante Stevens with us tonight. And Shante is a repeat because she was on a few episodes ago, but this young lady is on fire with her book. And I just had to bring her back to um, to let her talk about it some more and just continue to spread the message because mental health is is so important right now. And um, and so Shante, let me just say to you, welcome. <laughs> welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> Absolutely. Shante is a wife. She is a mother. She is an author and she is a speaker. She is doing many speaking engagements now. She has hosted her own workshop a couple of times now, I believe. And Shante, I'm going to let you share anything else that I'm I'm missing uh, as far as introducing you. She's in Florida that I do know. And what else do you want our audience to know about you? I am called the Enough Coach uh, just because I help women find their enough. Um, I basically teach CBT, mindfulness therapy. Um, Like she said, I am out of Dallas, uh, but I live in Florida right now in the Tampa areas, kind of near Brandon. So... That's where I'm at now. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's dive right into our interview today. I held up your book a moment ago, but I would like for you to share the title of your book and share why. What's the why behind writing your book? The title of my book is The Hunt for Enough, Finding Self-Worth Through Forgiveness. And I wrote my book because I did not want anyone else to reach that and get stuck like I was. Um, I was stuck for 30 plus years in suicide, depression, and post-traumatic stress. And I couldn't bear the thought of someone else being stuck the way I was and believing that they weren't worth it and, and not having a way out. So I wanted to develop something that gave people an escape, an escape from themselves, an escape from that stuck place. Um, So that's what my book does. It provides a recipe, a recipe to finding yourself and rebuilding yourself and, and reinventing who you are and what you look like on the other side of your pain. So I love that. And let's just talk about your book for a moment. Give the audience a, an overview of what you have in your book. And I know that you included a workbook inside yes. of your book. So let's talk about it. I love the way you wrote the story as well. So give them a little taste of, of what you've written and what they can expect to walk away when they re- when they work uh, read your book. Well, as she said, it is a workbook. 
When I say a workbook, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's not a book that you can just read and just fumble through. It's a book that you have to apply to your life. So it's a book that's going to teach you the process needed to overcome your trauma, the process needed to rebuild your confidence, the process needed to become more aware of who you are and, and what you look like on the other side of your trauma. Um, so that's what the book does. It introduces you to new coping techniques, new ways of developing yourself. Um, there's actual activities like um, breath work and meditation and mantras and, and things to help you deal with stress and anxiety and that overwhelm, that burnout, you know, season that we get into, ladies. Um, so that's that's what it does in that respect. Um, the activities and the, the worksheets are all centered on on, like I said before, building confidence and making sure that you're aware of how you're controlling your emotions and your actions and those feelings that you have. It's, it all starts with getting you unstuck and you start opening the book, finding out where you're stuck at. Like, what are, what are your stuck beliefs? What beliefs are keeping you stuck? And then you work through those feelings that you feel because of those beliefs. And then you get to tackle those actions and how those actions impact your life. So it's all connected. And that book teaches you how to do the work of connecting the mind, the body, and the soul together so that you can experience that healing that you're searching for. Very good. And since you've written your book, God has opened many, many opportunities for you. Uh, can you share some of those with us? And I know you have some coming up as well. Yeah. Um, well, I've been on podcasts. Uh, I've had to speak. I've hosted a couple of workshops myself. Um, I've done, I did one in person and I did one online, um, to two totally different types of experiences. And it's totally different from the Powerful Journey conference experience because you're hosting yourself and you're a speaker and you're, you're promoting your book, you know, but um, it's all been so empowering, so inspiring to see how a message that I thought would be drowned because of my pain. You know, I, I thought that that, mess, that that message was drowned out once in my life. And to find out that people need what I have is inspirational. And it helps me to be reassured that I know my enough, that I am enough, you know, so. Um, I know love that. Yeah. I, I love that. And we are in the midst now of a mental uh, crisis in our nation. I know that you were in, you, you received assistance from a mental health hospital. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to talk about that a little, but let me just say to you all, she is now going back to that same hospital that helped her. And she's speaking uh, to the patients to, to help them and for them to see that they can overcome. So I'm gonna let you take it from there. Yes, now that's, that's a part of my story that hits, that hits here because it took me a long time to find my enough. It took me a long time to get unstuck. So when I say the hunt, that's what I mean, the hunt for enough. So it took me having to be committed to a mental home, three separate occasions, 11 day stays. It was like prison. You know, you, you have to be watched. You have to be watched while you're bathing. 
You know, you have to be watched while you sleep. You know, while you take, you can't take your medicine by yourself. You know, you can't, you can't use pens. You can't use pencils. You know, is it is it was something I had to go through to figure out what I needed and to figure out what my why was. Because I knew, I knew that I, I was destined to live for some reason, because I'm still here and I've been trying to kill myself time after time after time after time. And God is saying, nope, not this time. Nope, not this time. Nope. So now I'm in a mental home. Now what's next? So being in a mental home three separate occasions, it opened me up in ways that I had no choice but to open. Ways that my family couldn't help me, they were able to help me. They were able to break down some walls and teach me some things that now I'm able to pass forward. So everything I learned in the in that facility, I'm able to, now that I've lived with it and, and sat with it for years and years and had to replay it in my mind and, and, and use it like for real, for real, now I'm able to, I was able to write the book. Now I'm able to coach people on that same process. Now I can speak on that same process because it's part of me now. I lived it. I went through it. I went, when I went through it, I went through it until I passed it. Y'all hear me say I was in the home three separate times. So, and that one it, you know, you out that inpatient state, you have outpatient. So it's still a whole bunch of therapy and counseling you have to go through. So I have done the work and I know how much work it takes. And I said, no, I can give people the answer. I can give people the answer. So y'all please listen to God, be obedient, come from your heart, be as vulnerable as you're comfortable with, regardless of what family and friends think, because I had to come from a place of pure vulnerability, pure rawness in my book for my own healing. My book healed me. It was for my healing first. Now I can use it to heal everybody else. You see, and, and even doing a now, even now, I still use my book. I was tested on my book after I wrote my book. Oh, you think you saying you enough, or do you really believe you enough? Let's see. So I still have to dig into my own book <laughs> just to reassure myself that I got it for real, that I'm enough. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. No, you are sharing what's need to what is needed to be said. I remember, and you might have written it in the book or you shared it in one of our classes that when someone tries to take their life, they think that they're the only ones that that will um hurt from it share a little about that and then we'll we'll move to our last question Ooh. you mentioned about your husband you woke up and yeah um see I realized I realized that that it was not just affecting me um when I woke up from my last suicide attempt and that was after um I had a vision of all my friends and loved ones buried in the same cemetery as me. I saw their gravestones. I saw names. I saw a big, a big stone with me and then other ones. And I just felt deep in my heart and I heard it's all connected. And I just knew 
that if I tried to kill myself again, I'd be taking them with me. And, and hearing, you know, you always hear people say, do it for your kids, live for your kids, you know, live for your family. I had to find my own reason, y'all. That that's just that's that's just plain and simple. Um, I lost track with you, what you asked me. I get I, y'all got okay. it. It's okay. You you answered the question because you're sharing that it doesn't just affect you. It affects yes. everyone, and it's like everybody's dying with you. Yes. when that occurs. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do now is set the stage for our last question. And then I'll let you uh, let our audience know how they can get your book, how they can uh, connect with you. So you just stood on stage, which you did at the Powerful Journey Women's Conference. And you have shared your story. Your, you led the, the workshop the empowerment workshop. I mentioned earlier that there were no seats left. People were standing around the walls in your workshop. What are three things that you, Shante, hope every woman walked away with? Mm. One, um, that our life is a reflection of what we believe. So if we choose to believe that we are truly worth the life that we've been given, then our life will exemplify that, right? Our life will show that. But if we believe that we are stuck and worthless and just no use to God, then all we're going to experience is pain. You know, every everything we're going to think of or experience is going to be negative. We're not going to be able to see a light in anything. Um, so life is a reflection of what you believe. Um, two, one uh, another thing I learned was that our our thoughts, feelings, and actions are all connected. So we are basically what we think. If we if we think, if we think we stuck, then we're gonna be stuck, you know. Um, but realizing how our thoughts affect our feelings and how our feelings affect our actions will in turn have us being more aware of what we're thinking. Um and then lastly, we have the power to attach new meaning to our pain. We, we, we tend to forget everything that we have successfully dealt with in the past and overcome. But if we just draw from that, if we, if we draw from the things that we have been able to overcome in the past, then we will remember that we have the power to attach new meaning to our pain. You know, all we have to do is is think of what what's a what's what are we possibly learning from this situation? You know, what's a another positive outcome that could be happening? That's, That's how we good. attach new meaning to the pain. That's good. That's good. Wow, and you are definitely an example of turning your pain into a purpose. Um, Shante, how can they get the book and how can they connect with you? Uh, you can get the book two ways. One, uh, through Amazon. Um, just search The Hunt for Enough by Shante Stevens. And two, you can get it a signed copy uh, on my website at Infinite Reach LLC. Dot com and that's infinite without the first i n i no it's n f i n i t e reach llc dot com and you can order the accompanying journal the accompanying art 
and the book from their website and get a signed copy. Very good. And Stevens is S T is in Tom E V is in Victor E N S. Yes. I want to make sure we have the the right spelling for <laughs> Stevens. So, Shante, thank you again for coming on as a repeat guest. Your message is so powerful, and I know that everyone, everyone can can hear it as you are speaking. So I just want to say thank you again. I want to tell everyone to make sure you are following her because this young woman is going to take you some places. <laughs> um, she is doing some amazing, amazing things. And for our Powerful Journey audience, let me just ask you two questions. One, have you subscribed to the podcast? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? The second question is, have you connected with us where you can join the writer's journey? And, and I forgot to tell you guys, they are live here. Shante is just spoke in front of a live audience. Our writer's journey community are sitting here and they are listening. They were cheering her on. And we are actually going to get a chance to have a conversation with Shante right afterwards. But if you haven't joined the writer's journey, we have a free 14 day trial, a 14 day free trial for you now. I will have all of that in the show notes, or you can go over to phyllisjenkins.com. That's P-H-Y-L-L-I-S Jenkins.com. And you can sign up there. We would love to have you you can come and tell your story, write your book, and become a published author. Shante, thank you again. And to our audience, we'll see you back here next week. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.